My daughter, who is also a true crime lover, told me about a show she saw on Netflix that she wanted us to watch together. The show was I Am a Killer, and they had powerful stories that had interviews with murderers. One of the episodes was on Linda Couch, who is in prison for life for murdering her husband. Her story was heart-wrenching, and it made us wonder why she was still in jail. I knew that I wanted to talk about her in a future episode to see if maybe I am wrong and she should be in jail for committing the murder of her husband. But let's talk about her story and you tell me what you think. Sixteen-year-old Linda was at a wedding reception when she met Walter Couch. I am not sure how old Walter was, but I suspect he was already over 18. Linda would be the one to approach him and introduce herself. It's probably a decision that she will always regret in some ways. After talking for a bit, Walter asked her out the next day and Linda accepted. One of the sources say that she had low self-esteem and so she was in awe that someone like Walter, who was good looking, wanted to date her. And she does say this in an interview, but... That doesn't mean that it was because of low self-esteem. It also could be her age. I mean, I don't know if you remember when you were 16, but you definitely had a sense of awe when someone good-looking was around. The two started dating right away and in months were married. Linda would say in an interview that I was still a teen and I thought I was in love. Now I wish I'd never met him. He was so different when we were just dating. But once he had that ring on my finger, he changed into a monster. As it typically happens in domestic violence cases, the marriage was blissful until something in the environment changed, and that causes the abuser to start showing his true colors. This is what happened with Linda and Walter. When she became pregnant with their first child, Walter pushed her down the stairs. After she gave birth and came home from the hospital, Walter let Linda know that he was not going to help her with their baby emphasizing the there. As we all know, babies tend to cry a lot because that is the way they communicate. For Linda, the baby crying put her on edge. And that's because every time baby Roxanne cried, Walter got angry with Linda and would beat her. The two would eventually have two more kids, another girl and a son. Linda says that out of all the kids, Walter seemed to have this hatred towards Roxanne Roxanne even says when they interviewed her that she thinks it's because she was the one who looked most like her mom. Walter would beat Linda and Roxanne almost daily. Linda would try to defend her daughter, she says, and so she was brutally beaten by him. One night, Walter would do the unthinkable. He brought his friends over to the house to party and drink. Linda would usually remain in her room, just like their three children would. This night, the bedroom door opened, and Walter and his friends came in. Linda awoke, surrounded by drunken men, one of them being her abusive husband. Walter allowed his friends to brutally gang-rape her, rape her while their three children were in the home. It was the first of many times. Linda decided that in order to start getting more empowered and finally leaving this abusive situation with her children, she would have to go back to school to become a nurse. As we know about abusers, they do not like when their victims start empowering themselves. Instead of being supportive, abusers become even more violent. Walter tried to get her to quit college. And this was the first time that Linda stood up to him and she said she would not quit. When she said no... Walter went to get his gun. On the show, she says that what made her fight back was that she was afraid for her daughter, Roxanne. She knew that he was already very abusive towards Roxanne, and so she thought that if something happened to her, he would go after Roxanne, and Roxanne would probably end up dead as well. The two started fighting, and Linda kicked him in the groin. They started struggling for the gun. Linda says that she fell, and the gun went off and hit him in the head. Walter Couch instantly died. This is where Linda started making mistakes. Instead of going directly to the police and telling them what happened, Linda decided to bury Walter's body instead. It gets much worse. 
she went to Walter's dad to tell him that she wanted his help in building a garden, which he agreed to help her. Linda rolled Walter's body in a carpet and had their three children carry his body out. Walter's father and their children helped create a hole and bury Walter's body. Suspicions started to get high when 10 days had passed and Walter's parents had not heard from Walter. So Walter's father started thinking back about the garden, the hole, the carpet, and so he decided to go over there, undig the hole, and when he opened up the carpet, he saw his son's body and he called the police. Linda Couch was arrested on October 23, 1984. The trial took place three months later. In the trial, prosecutors proved that Walter had been shot in the back of the head. If her account was right, that they both struggled for the gun, wouldn't he be facing her? Prosecutors also showed that right before the murder, Linda tried to change the title of the house to only be under her name. In the I Am A Killer episode, prosecutor Pan Dinkalacker listens to the tape of Linda's couch confession. He states that had he heard about the extent of the abuse as he listens to when he's listening to the tape, and this is about the black eyes, the broken nose, being thrown down the stairs, then maybe there would have been a different outcome. However, when he's saying that, his facial expressions shows otherwise, so I don't really believe him, but uh, if you watch the episode, tell me your thoughts about what you think when you saw him um, listening to tape and when he discusses what he had heard. So Linda does say that her defense attorney told her not to say anything in court, so they basically glazed over the abuse. However, I wonder, didn't the police interview her? I would think that the police would interview her um, in one of those interrogation rooms, and I would have thought that she would have said something then, but who knows. Roxanne, Linda's, and Walter's daughter testified against her mother. She said that her mother was piling up debt, taking out credit cards and loans, and Linda was afraid Walter would find out, so she killed him. On the show, Roxanne indicates that her mother did this to plan for her future life after leaving her father. She also says that if her father would have found out, it would not have not been good for any of us. Roxanne also denied that Linda was gang raped. However, she does say her dad had friends over, but she was sleeping. How would she know that her mom was lying or telling the truth? Roxanne testified, I didn't kill him, but I felt horrible inside. She had me bury my father in the cold ground. That night's actions destroyed an entire family. She tells stories and she likes to get sympathy. She would tell you a lie and you would believe it. It's the gospel truth, but she believes her own lies. On the show, Roxanne was interviewed and she admits that her dad was abusive and beat her every day. She also admits that her dad would beat her mother. She does blame her mother for the abuse. Uh, The times were different back then and her mother was a stay-at-home mother with no skills. I remember in the 80s that there were women who were homeless with their children because men weren't paying child support or alimony. Therefore, many women would remain with their abusers. Child support and alimony existed, but many women weren't getting any of it. It wasn't until the late 80s when child support enforcement started ramping up to make sure to reduce this from happening. After Linda was sent to prison, the kids went to Walter's parents. Is this why Roxanne has such hatred towards her mom, but seems to dismiss her father's abuse? Linda thinks it was their influence, but was it maybe that Roxanne has her own trauma that she probably hasn't worked through? Murder is never the answer, however, a battered woman since her teen getting gang raped due to her husband and seeing him beating their daughter because she looked like her should not have been given a life sentence and had her parole denied seven times. Francine Hughes, who burned her abusive husband in their bed, got temporary insanity, but Linda Couch is still in prison. I do feel bad for Roxanne, but I think that I do think that she was influenced by the grandparents. I'm not sure I believe Linda 100% um, as to like what happened that night, but I do think that she was getting abused, she was getting raped, and she just started hating her husband to the point that it turned to murder. So I do hope that Linda is able to one day be free because she was a battered woman, but... I just hope that her children, um, especially Roxanne, because I we don't know what the other two children think, but I do hope that one day Roxanne and her can finally be free from their trauma. 
Thanks again for watching the video. If you like the content, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and also sharing it with someone. I will talk to you next week.